So this is our last talk for the two day workshop. And ordinarily, like I said, we would all be here together. It would normally be much more interactive. There would be lots of these great discussions that we're having now, obviously in person. So what I would like to do for the last 30 minutes or so is first of all, a walk through a practical. This is something we do in the field when we're doing given triangulation and on each day of data collection, you can draw the um, Gibbon group maps, which is actually really useful and we'll discuss why in just a moment. So I just want to illustrate how you can go about doing that. And then the second part of my talk, we're gonna, it's just a bit of fun. It's totally anonymous, but we're going to be having just a, a quiz to assess the knowledge gained from the workshop, as opposed to me just um, presenting you with a summary slide of everything we've talked about, because we've covered a lot of info. Well, Amanda Gayaro, Janol Diao, the PMA training and walk through the Dobe Janava, the Magini, New Mujao, Malone and Edward. Those are Dalman by Adigaga, the D walk through map, no male as well. Gibbon triangulation map or not gritting as we be your map D, a South Jame, a air, the low D map D below Swam as well, who can be mapped by a da pound one bono, but two maro. ကျွန်တော်နည်းနည်းကွစ်စီလေးရှိပါတယ်အဲအဲဒီကဒီနှစ်ရက်မှာရလာရဲ့အချက်အလက်တွေပါကောင်းတဲ့ကျမ်းမ
and it's really useful for estimating where Gibbon groups are and potentially how many there are in the area before doing any statistical analyses. You know, oh, the data oh, oh, palo lemati mi ma. You know, data is especially the ne, eh, piala so we are, you know, oh, palo lemati eh, eh, the number G ne, eh, do we have one? So, you know, the walkthrough practice car or the the triangulation and the data collection, matani ma, ah, the mi bongso e kisa e. So the reason why we can do this and why it's useful to do this every day after each day of data collection is, like I said, it helps you visualize how many groups in the area but it also really helps us improve our skills. For example, when you draw these given maps, you can very clearly see if certain groups of researchers are under or overestimating distances or inaccurately measuring bearings. The Nibon Swabi Chijapia, the Kibben group, the area of the Kuma Kibben group and the Kushile, so I'm missing any eye, and not the Kuajaro, the low Swachajan Apia, a Koko, Koi Duya Lepte, the Kali, low Swachajan Api, a Tiles or Go Ne Kibbenja, distance car, Shoy Mila, Boy Mila, a mean lava lemon. So we can do this by drawing maps, and this can be done by hand or on a computer. And like I say, you're welcome to try this yourself. Normally we would do this all together in the field, but if you would like to do this yourself after this practical, I'm very happy to send you some data that you can play around with. Okay, so here is a sample of data. So this is not the entire data set from one day, but this is just a small sample from three different listening posts on the same morning. And we're going to use this data to draw potential given groups that we can hear. So the sample data, the complete sound sample data, mahobu, the listening post, not only the atoni ani, the group tongu go not only ba. So the ani, the sample, the given map ni switchi ba me. So we've got listening post one in blue, listening post two in green, and listening post three in red. So our Patama post haga apya to the listening post go say that the listening post go the Limoyan line at Tamatawa. So step one, we are going to add our three or more, if you have more, listening posts onto a map. And we can do this using a grid map overlay. So like I have here, this is this is real data. This is taken from um, Susan Chain's field site where I used to work. And as you can see uh, with these, I don't know if you can see my cursor, uh, but with these transects, how they've been cut. So basically a transect is almost a route in, in a forest that you walk down or traverse down and you normally count the number of animals you can hear or see. Um, and it's a way of getting around the forest. So here is an example of a grid map. Yeah, a grid map example of one of the so we're using a grid map here, but you could use satellite imagery, you could use Google Earth, and if you have GPS um, coordinates that you've taken on a handheld GPS device, you could easily import those um, into uh, Google or ArcGIS or other mapping software, or you could just draw your own, which is normally what we do in the field. And a good map will always have a north arrow, like on the bottom right-hand side, and a scale that's really crucial for this. 
ကိုတော်ညကာမှာကွိုင်ချဆွဲလေးရတယ်ချမဆွဲကျင်ပဲနဲ့ဒီနေပုံထုတ်ပြီးတော့အဲကိုကိုအဲ့နေပုံမဲ
So dia jauh listening post tu kat data pun, no? Di mana mana lina itu tungsa tungsa yang sasu wa kau dah jaya, di mana so yang kepen grup tunggu kau dah jaya pun, no? Di mana so yang grup tiga orang cuma so yang yang apa macam tu yang ada yang ni ni tu yang cakap se degree le piang tuan lo distance le piang wa, dah kah noa normal wa, dah pun macam ni, tapi lo so di kepen ni ya tu kau dah เป็นเนี่ยอย่างเปียโนอย่างรู้เบลูเปียโนอะไรสักตัวเย่เอ่อตัวเอเจนเนี่ยก้อนเนี่ยก็พหูก็ก็ช่วยว่าอ่าอี
listening post to a child a group no uh, group one and group two so hey and then the group group one uh, the key one so listening post one and he is open the listening post one I'm a child I will the child I will so what the case are popular and there so what uh the group the cool action I know group the cool and action I know And so finally, what we do is we need to know as well how song travels in that particular environment, in that particular forest. So, for example, this these data was taken from a peat swamp forest, and we know that gibbon song can travel up to one kilometer in this forest. Therefore, around each of the listening posts, we can draw a one kilometer buffer. This is now known as our survey area. So based on this survey area, we know that there are at least four given groups. So, Dima, so in general, the people who are the given area called the Aquatic or One Kilometer Locality Jaya. So one kilometer, the general so I need a soil like the Chema, the the so I need go long near the Daka. Uh, to know a survey area to know my group got a nail zone legal she is what the other the survey area drama so the next step would be that was just based on one day's worth of data so the next step would be to survey for four plus consecutive days and each day you would still draw the maps and what you hope to see is that there would probably be the same areas with with the same number of groups so ada ya dia saya di dalam si wadi ya, jono awa di dalam kau dia liye ni liye ni tel di dalam kau dia kau apa apa, aku jaya jono oh kau pi tenik kau pi dah ni bong ni soya kau apa, jono di grup tu kuna tu kuna di di ajar mian di ni apa apa si ya soa tu ya lawa ni mana. So just two important points to remember. So during drawing these maps is a rough estimate only. It's not to replace doing statistical analysis. This is just something to do in the field to help you visualize what is happening with your given data. So although I could extrapolate this and estimate in a, roughly how many there would be in this entire patch of forest just by looking at my small survey sample, for much more accurate, accurate estimates, and not only do the statistical analyses, but also you need to know how many individuals make up a group. And this was something Susan mentioned. And what we know with different given species of the 20 species, um, some live in monogamous, so male, female um, kind of bonded groups, whilst others live in polygonous groups where there's more than one actively breeding female, and there can be up to six or even seven individuals in a group. So, you know, Gunaga estimate pay pay pay. You know, the given the map two years ago, so given music the map, the two years or or the also the other also the other way, the two years or 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 Mati Oka T Nya Ine Me Lai Da Shi Ye, the Me Lai Da Ine Shi Ye, you know, the I T Puka, you know, the group the group the map account ye. Average pen account she lays while they be learning there. So, I just wanted to point this out. We have created a Skywalker Gibbon website, and on that, there are some training resources, including everything that pretty much has been discussed in terms of uh, Susan's lecture and that particular um, walkthrough example. And you can find these resources on, with that link. So I'm sure we can share that as well at the end of this and send it round. Um, I apologize, they are not translated into Burmese yet, but that is one of our main priorities at the moment. It's been done already. Oh, superstar, it has been translated. So the, the Skywalk Mania Big Lecture, you SOP, 
Also, if anyone would like to write a blog, please get in touch with me because we would love to hear from loads of the different project partners. Have anyone got any questions so far based on that walkthrough example? <laughs> 